Hello folks, this is Chris Hayes with ChrisHayesTeam.com. Guess what, we have a reaction video. My wife sent this one to me the other day from South Park. It's season 25, episode three, titled City People. Let's go. Well, I don't have much experience, but I thought I'd give real estate a try. Mrs. Cartman, being a real estate agent takes a lot of intellect and a lot of raw talent. You have to get your picture taken, get people to like the picture and go, oh, I'd like to hang out with that person and then act like you like those people when you show them houses. Oh my goodness, I have to stop here. So number one, it's great that there's demand for South Park area. It's interesting, every year, every other year, you'll see reports that say top upcoming cities and trends for different areas of the country. That's all one thing. Here's the other thing, is I don't know why people shortchange what realtors and their intellect is on a lot of TV shows, especially the funny ones. It takes a lot more than just, you know, smiling and people like your name in your pictures. So anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> have you ever heard of a real estate agent, Butters? Well, not really. Yeah, well, neither had I. So I looked it up on a bunch of those shows and stuff. You don't do anything. You just look nice and hug people, and then when someone buys or sells a house, you make money. Wow, well, that sounds like a good deal. Oh my goodness. This job is a lot more difficult than this show is giving it credit for. It almost upsets me a little bit. Anyway, yeah, there is a lot more about selling properties than just somebody finding a house and you make money. That's not how it works. In case you didn't, you were unaware, the turnover in real estate is really quite high. Better than 50% turnover in the business in less than 18 months countrywide. That is a lot of turnover in a real estate business. It is a commissions only business in most instances. There are some models outside of that, but generally speaking, we're a commissioned only business and if you don't have the discipline in order to locate clients and service their needs and do it on a regular basis then you go broke right just like if you are unable to perform in any job ultimately you're not going to bring home the bacon so um let's keep going with this but it gets under my crawl this is a difficult business we've got you know, these people moving from cities into our town i can probably be a millionaire in just a few days time Wow-wee! now whatever you do don't tell anybody if anyone else finds out about this, they'll all want to be real estate agents too. You've always been great at taking pictures, Butters. I won't forget this when I'm rich. The interesting thing about it is, don't tell anybody else. Everybody else will want to be a real estate agent too. You know, it's funny, I've, I've been in this business for a lot of years and I've seen the markets change. And when the market seems really, really strong and a lot of activity going on, let's say interest rates are down, and this is just before the financial crisis and even more recently since COVID, it's interesting how many more people get their real estate license to jump into the market because it seems so easy. Lending qualifications have eased up. There's a property sale in a matter of, of days or weeks at the most. And it just seems so funny how people will flock to an industry when it seems like easy money. On the flip side, I've seen it in downturns or when the markets shifted the opposite direction. And I'll see the, the influx of folks that got into the business just just crash and get out of the business and go do something else. So it's an interesting uh, dynamic in the real estate business. What are you up to? I got a job as a real estate agent, ma'am. You are not a real estate agent. Neither are you. Now just march right back home and I will see you when I am done with work. Ma'am, real estate is an open market. You're not the only one who gets to take advantage of all the city people. Oh, Cortado? Cortado. Oh, bottled water. Oh, Wi-Fi? Metal bottled water. Eric, this house is being represented by South Park Realtors. You don't get to just walk in and show it. All right. Eric's trying to take over his mom's listing. That's a no-no in the real estate business. They call it crossing the line or crossing the sign. Once a property is listed, a seller lists a property with the real estate agent, there's a contractual agreement there. And it's unethical for another real estate agent to solicit the listings of another agent. At the end of the day, Eric is not a licensed real estate agent. You have to go to real estate school, et cetera, to become a licensed realtor. But you're not supposed to solicit another agent's listing. Who is this South Park Realty Group? Has anyone heard of them? It appears to be mostly one agent, a, a pretty young guy. Can't have been in the business that long. That's a pretty damn good picture. How do you get that kind of depth of field? I don't know. He's got to be using some kind of soft filter. Nothing I've ever seen. All right, everyone. Looks like we've got some competition. Real estate is so much more than pictures. Pictures are critical more than ever in real estate, and it's so much more than just pictures in real estate. So... Stop it! <laughs> Come on, Chris. You gotta look really welcoming. I'm t I've arched as far as I can. 
in real estate, I have seen some glamour shots through the years. Yes, a lot of times we do tend to get dressed up a little bit and maybe uh, take a bath the night before and put our, uh, do a little shave and do our hair and makeup and those kinds of things. At the end of the day, we do want to make a good appearance because we're looking to form part of an impression with a client and uh, the friendliness actually has something to do with that as well. But all said and done, there are some glamour shots, some of the funniest stories. If you look at some real estate agents, this is really funny because a lot of them, their pictures may be 15 or 20 years old and you're going, is this the person that I see here? It's a little odd when you see people that don't keep up with their pictures and you meet them actually, so. Well, I'm standing here with some clients who want to make a deal on this Highgate place. They want to offer 175. You are going to get me fired, Eric, and then we are going to lose our home. 175 is a great number. 25 below asking, but you know you're never going to get 200. Don't worry, these deals are always like this. So Eric's negotiating with his mom all verbally. In real estate, things don't count unless it's in writing. So um, yeah, there may be a little bit of um, general talking about numbers and terms and those kinds of things before it's reduced to writing. But realistically, it's not a binding contract in real estate until it's in writing. And just like that, they take all our customers. I think maybe real estate just isn't the same anymore. Or maybe we got to start making fancy videos to keep up. Yes, um, times have changed so much. When I started real estate back in the early 90s, yes, we, the internet wasn't even here. It's certainly not in the capacity of it was. And as a matter of fact, the MLS, when we'd print those out, it would be on uh, fax paper. Go figure, huh? And the listings were about a third of a page long. And these days, there's so much great information that you can find out about real estate, obviously with photos and descriptions, but everything that links to school districts and tax records, crime rates, and all that information surrounding amenities, uh, parks, schools, etc. It's really interesting how much further along real estate has come with the dissemination of information these days. So then we have to find a way to stop this. It's the damn real estate agents. They're the ones who are going overboard. They only care about their commissions. The real estate agents don't just care about their commissions. That's, that's sad that they label everybody or all of us that just care about our commissions. Really, I, I subscribe to, if you take care of the people, the people will take care of you, right? If you, if you serve folks and obtain what their objectives are, you get rewarded for it. That's what commissions are all about, right? Have there been real estate agents that are focused solely on their own well-being? Yes. Is it the general rule of thumb? I don't believe so. We're in this business to make a living. It's our career, it's our job, helping folks buy their properties and sell properties. At the end of the day though, I just don't think, I just don't subscribe to that. Realtors don't care about anything but money. We have to show them who's really in charge of this town. Okay, real estate agents also, we're in this to make a living as well, right? If you, when you go to work, don't you go and trade your time for money, right? Your expertise for money. We're doing the same thing. And by the way, we don't get paid just to show up. We actually have to help people. Right, we have to actually close a transaction before a commission is ever paid. There's a lot of effort put into a lot of transactions that we never get paid anything for. The show is offensive. It's aggravating to me that they shortchange the value of what we realtors stand for. They upset the natural balance. Real estate agents don't really do anything. If they start doing stuff, then the whole housing market goes crazy. This is not real. <laughs> we real estate agents cannot control a market. That's beyond our abilities, right? There are so many factors involved in markets in any area of town, but there's, there's so much involved in a market besides just real estate, right? There's commercial and there's industry. There is so much involved in what makes a market change, right? It's not just real estate. Okay, it's far-fetched. It's cartoons. I need to chill out, right? Okay. Eric, you need to stop this right now! When I close this deal, ma'am, I'm gonna be the richest kid in town! It doesn't work that way, Eric! You aren't going to make any money! You're just driving up the market and none of your deals will make it through escrow! 
Well, we'll just see in 30 days, won't we? Except for some of my deals which have a 45 day contingency period. So Eric and his mom are talking about a property appraising and going through escrow period and contingency clauses, etc. So once a deal does go pending, it takes about 30 days to close a deal, give or take a week. There's a couple of big hurdles in there. Part of that hurdle is inspections, the next one's appraisal, and the third big hurdle is buyer final loan approval. So a lot of times the big appraisal or the appraisal is a big issue because a property has, had a, has a negotiated sales price and Eric sold this house for $50 million, let's say. Well, if it doesn't appraise for $50 million, then we have a gap issue that needs to be fixed. If there's a big gap between the appraised price and the negotiated sales price, then we have to renegotiate on that, right? And a lot of times a seller may not want to sell less than their perceived value, especially in today's real estate market with multiple offers. However, if you take pre-pandemic, for example, if a property didn't appraise for the negotiated sales price, a buyer is saying, why should I pay more? more than what the current appraised value is from a third party independent appraiser. So it's a little bit of a quandary. And a lot of that depends on what kind of real estate market is currently happening. Real estate is a delicate balance. It has to be left to the professionals. There's a great migration happening all over America. And if we do it right, everyone ends up in a home that they can afford. I do like the ending on this where it talks about a certain balance in real estate. You know, we go through the lending process to buy a house and the lender says based on history, our income, our credit worthiness, they're willing to loan X number of dollars to make sure that we can do the best we can to afford what we're purchasing and that we can have a place to call home, right? That we're not overextended and married to four walls, but yeah, we have a great, secure, safe place to put our heads at night. And so uh, I do appreciate the ending on this show. The rest of it drove me absolutely nuts. It so short changes our profession and that just makes me aggravated. But I realize it's a cartoon. These are fun to do. They're fun to do because it's it's interesting to get a perspective that this must be what other folks may think of the real or or some general populace thinks of the real estate business, no matter whether it's true or not true. However, I gotta tell you, I probably have my own opinions and perceptions about other industries that are not accurate. There we go, there, there's, there's the balance in the world with the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed this. It was fun for me, a little aggravating, but at the end of the day, make it a great day. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Like, subscribe, shoot us a comment. Let us know what you think. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.